good evening to everyone and welcome to the program my dear friend the theoretical research you know the theory archimedes principle pythagoras theorem newton's laws of motion ohm's law etc etc there are large number of large number of theories which were developed by the people do you think that the Newton's laws of motion developed by Newton are applicable only to the place to which he belonged the answer is no the Newton's laws are applicable all over the world all over the planet Pythagoras theorem is applicable everywhere so you can say that the utility of the theoretical research is very vast now coming to the experimental in this pandemic the vaccine which you and i have got it is the outcome of experimental research the vaccine developed in india by serum institute of india is only applicable within india and maybe few underdeveloped countries they are not applicable in us not applicable in uk not applicable in canada the mobile is the example of the experimental research if you take your mobile to germany with the same sim card then your mobile will not work you have to change the sim card so that make the utility of experimental research is is less than the theoretical and action research utility is very very limited so you can say that theoretical experimental and action researches can be differentiated on the basis of degree of utility or you can say applicability so i have answered the second question i have already answered the third question yesterday when i was talking about the variables title and objective so the, this is the sequence in which they should come okay so this i have already explained you so you know this and now you can try to find out the answer of question number 3 question number 4 and question number 5 and get back tomorrow with answers now let us proceed do you want to ask any question related to the variable which i have already given you yesterday any question you want to ask about the variables any question regarding the variables methods of controlling variable will be discussed whenever i take up the experimental method okay so that i will tell no personality cannot be a dependent variable i have told you dependent and independent is only in case of experimental research and you cannot change the personality of the people so it cannot be the dependent variable you cannot have it neither dependent nor independent okay we proceed now one thing you should understand that i have told you gorau in survey research you cannot if you have to control then it is used by using the partial correlation in partial correlation if there is a variable which you want to control that we call it partial out so you can partial out a variable in the survey research and you have to use a statistical technique or you can use a statistical technique called analysis of covariance when I, i will talk about the philosophical research don't bother about it harkesh kumar the intrinsic and extrinsic variable i have given you many examples so many examples i gave you you see here in the intrinsic variable say when you are sitting on a chair and if it and you are uncomfortable here is a intervening variable which is intrinsic if there is a noise coming from outside wherever you are sitting then due to the noise from outside you may not be able to concentrate so that is the extrinsic intervening variable if there are children 
who are playing in your room and due to the noise created by that, may be an intervening variable and that is extrinsic intervening variable. If you are not well, then because of that, you may not be able to concentrate. This is intrinsic intervening variable. I have given you examples both intrinsic as well as extrinsic. No, there is no importance of concomitant, but you should know that concomitant is another type of variable. And a variable may be concomitant in one situation and the same variable may not be concomitant. It may be intervening as I told you yesterday. Now, another thing I want to tell you, dear friends, many of the people have started talking about mixed research method. You cannot mix philosophical method and historical method. You cannot mix philosophical method and survey method. You cannot mix experimental method and survey method. It's not possible at all. But you, but you may have, hello. Huh. Good evening. I'm in the webinar, please. Tell me fast. No, I no, I, I will talk. I am in the webinar. I will talk to you. Okay. Okay. So therefore, let me tell you that this is a wrong concept. Mixed research is a wrong concept. But in one particular research, you may collect the data, which will be qualitative data and quantitative data. But you have to analyze them separately. You cannot combine and an analyze it. And I'll give you examples. So yesterday, I have given you about the variables. Now I'm going to talk to you today, sources of problem. And I will also talk to you about the title writing. That how exactly a title has to be written. Now let us take up the sources of problem. You know, there are different sources of the problem. One of the source of the problem is called literature. I hope you know the meaning of the literature. Literature does not mean Hindi, does not mean English, does not mean Gujarati, does not mean Marathi. Literature means journal. Literature means e-journal. Literature means Shod Ganga. Literature means thesis. Literature means Digestation Abstract International. And if some of you are from education, anyone from education amongst the participants, any participant from education. Now, in education, all researches conducted all over India, they have been abstracted and classified and they are available in the form of survey, survey of research in education. And these surveys are available 
on NCRT website. In NCRT website, you will find the survey of research in education, or you can log in to CIET website and you will find survey of research in education. All survey of research in education have been uploaded. So while sitting in your own room, you can log into CIET or NCRT and you can get the abstract of all the researches which have been conducted in India related to the different, different universities. Now, and this literature has to be related and it has to be related and you have to review. So one is review of related literature. Now this is one of the very, very important source of the problem. And majority of the researchers belonging to different subjects, they use this particular as a source in order to select the problem. Since you know that you belong to education or you belong to economics or you belong to management, so you will definitely like to do research only related to that particular one. Now, once you know that, then you may search the related literature, the journals and e-journals and Shodh Ganga, et cetera, whether some researches have been conducted related to that or not. Say, for example, you know, AI, artificial intelligence is coming up in a very big way. And I like to share with you that there is one college, one, sorry, one school. It is an international school in Bangalore. They are using artificial intelligence in their school. They have three artificial intelligence teachers. One teacher they have given to seventh standard, another is to the eighth, another is to the ninth. And these AI teacher teaches all subjects. And their regular teacher only visits the class once a week. But at present, no research has been conducted related to the use of AI teacher. I'll give you another example. There are many observation schedules available in mirrors for behavior. Mirrors for behavior is the document which is only available in India at in one particular department of education. Nowhere in India that book is available and it has got 10 volumes. And the name of that is Mirrors for Behavior. Now there are many observation schedules which have not been used for understanding the classroom interactions in India except the Flanders interaction category system that has been used. So that means if you review the literature, you may find that no research has been conducted no research has been conducted related to a particular aspect. No research has been conducted related to a related to a
related to a particular aspect. And if no research has been conducted, that means there is a gap. And if you come across the gap, then you may think of conducting a research so that the gap is filled up. So now, here is a situation which you can use in order to select the problem for your research. Another can be that researches have been conducted, either no researches have been conducted or researches have been conducted. If researches have been conducted, there may be a few A few researches have been conducted. If a few researches have been conducted, then also there is a need to conduct more researches. Why? Because on the basis of a few researches, it is not possible to journalize. If you want to journalize, then you have to have large number of researches. So therefore, if this happens, then more, more researches are required. And another can be, that if, large number of researches have been conducted, then there are two possibilities. If large number of researches have been conducted, one of the possibilities is that there might be consistency in findings. So, if if large number of researches have been conducted, then there might be consistency in findings. And if, if you get consistency in finding, then one can, one can formulate theory or law. And no need of doing more, more researches of the same type. But if there are a large number of researches and the, the, there is a inconsistency in finding, In case of large number of researches, in case large number of in case of large number of researches, there are inconsistencies in findings. then more researches are required. So this is how yeah, the participant was asking about the re review of related literature. 
Now, this is how the review of the related literature will be very, very useful for selecting the problem. But how the review of related literature chapter is to be written, that I will not cover in this particular webinar. For that, there is another webinar where I will have the paper writing and the thesis writing. So therefore, but the review of related literature will be very, very useful in selecting the problem. And this is how I have explained it to you. Now there is another one, and that is the theory. Why theories are developed? The theories are developed so that these can be utilized by the human beings to make their life comfortable, to make their life useful to the society and for themselves. So the theories are very important. Now, if you find that there is a theory which has not been used by anyone till today, and if you want to take up that theory and you conduct a research around that theory, then your source of the problem will be unutilized or underutilized theory. Unutilized or underutilized. Let me tell you another one that there were two people and the name was Bruce Joyce and Marsha Well. Both these people, they were husband and wife and they started discussing among them, between themselves. And they found that large number of theories are available in the literature. And these theories can be used by the teacher, can be used by the administrator, can be used by other people, but they are not being used. Then they started discussing what might be the reason. So they came up many reasons. One of the reason was that maybe people may not be knowing the theory. Another people might be knowing the theory, but may not know how to use it. So these people, what they did was, they took the theories and they simplified the theory and they, then they came out with the steps in using the theory. And they titled it as models of teaching. They came up with different models of teaching like concept attainment model. You know that large number of the students, they are weak in concepts. Why? Because we are teaching concepts with the help of the lecture method. And lecture method was never developed for teaching concepts. Lecture method was developed for giving more information in less time. And in lecture method, 
the teacher is active and the students are not active. Most of the time they are passive. So it is normally said that in lecture method, students are passive listener and teacher is only active. So therefore, if you like, you can use these models. There are many models like this and each model is based on a theory. It's a concept attainment model. is based on is based on Bruner's theory of concept. So there are many models. So therefore, if these theories would have been utilized, then the Bruce Joyce and Marsha Well would not have come up with the new, the models of teaching, a new, altogether a new area. I'll give another example. These days, you know, there are many malls and whenever there are festivals, then these malls, they, they start giving discount. The more discount they give, the more customers they attract and their sale will increase because they know that giving discount means attracting the people. You know, in many of the malls, if you go, you may find a pack of soap, four soaps pack. And they say that you take four soap, but you pay for the three soap. Now, one extra soap you get. Now you have taken that pack, but imagine, do you require so many soaps? But we go for it because we know that we are saving some little money. Okay. So therefore, many of these type of the thing, no, from the repository, you cannot know about the foreign researches. If you know their website, then the answer is yes, but Shod Ganga is the thesis repository and these thesis belong to only Indian universities. In Shod Ganga, you will never have any thesis which was done in foreign countries. You cannot have that. So therefore you have to find out some source from where you can get that. But the Shod Ganga doesn't give you that. So therefore, this is, can be the another source that you keep on looking for the theory which has been utilized. But you may think of another way to utilize it. You know it that if you give the reinforcement, then there is a theory that the desired response will be elicited. Now, you know, the small kids, sometimes you tell them that I will give you chocolate, you do this work and they do the work. So you motivate the child to do the work by offering him the promise to give a chocolate. 
this is how you know the mot the motivation there has to be something now these all have come through the theory so if you want you can use it absolutely no problem then there is another source and you know there are seminars and conferences you know seminars and conferences are held i am not talking of these days because these days you have one day seminar and half a day is spent in inauguration and another part of the day is spent in validity function and some part for the lunch and you have very little time for academics so such conferences or seminars are of no use but yes if you are conducting a seminar or a conference for 3 days or 5 days or 7 days they are very useful now whenever the seminar or conferences are conducted on a particular topic you do invite people who have done lot of research belonging to that aspect and if you ask them to come and to give a lecture it is called expert lecture so if you are listening to the expert lecture and you are very attentive then during his presentation you may come across a problem a situation in which the research can be conducted if you were not present in that seminar then that idea might come to your mind or might not come to your mind the chances of not coming to the mind will be larger than the chances of coming to the mind but if you attend the seminar or conference it may come and if it comes then it helps you in selecting the problem another is that in seminar and conferences the people they will be presenting their own research and if you are attending that session also then during the presentation you know oh such and such researcher had done this type of work then you may also think of doing the similar type of work or maybe some other work another is when you are listening to the presentation made by the student by the researcher then you may ask some of the questions and which may help the researchers in improving the paper which he is presenting and after the conference if the researcher goes home and modifies his paper and if he sends it for presentation then his paper may be published in a journal then the paper may become part and parcel of the review of the related literature so paper presented in the seminar and conference may be modified and sent for publication and if it is published then it is no more a seminar or conference the source the source will be the review of related literature now these are some of the sources but there is one more source and i call it a informal source for example radio newspaper tv etc 
Now, you know, my dear friend, that every month end, our prime minister is talking to the people under a heading monkey bath. This is the title of his program, monkey bath. And under that, he takes different issues, some academic, some non-academic issues, and he gives his own views about it. Now, if you are listening to the monkey bath, then you may think of conducting a program, conducting a research as to find out how people react to this program or what are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and challenges in this particular program. So you as a researcher may do a research centered around the theme which the prime minister is talking. And then, of course, you can write a paper. It may not be a very good problem for PhD, but for paper writing, the yes. My dear friend, when demonetization happened, then the news came through that TV on the day it was announced and on the following day, it was reported in the newspaper. Now, if you are a conscious researcher, you could have conducted a research reaction towards demonetization. You know, different schemes of the government, they are being put for public and you as a researcher may conduct a research around that. So that means this can be another source, but I personally do not think that informal source is good for getting a problem for PhD. But yes, if you want a problem to write a paper, then yes, this source can also be used. So these are the different sources which are available to you for selecting the problem. Now, any question you want to ask, then I go to the next, that is the title writing. Any question you want to ask? My dear uh, Gaurav, principle and theories are the same. The theories and the principles, they are not different. Sometimes they call it theory, sometimes they call it law, sometimes they call it a principle. Archimedes principle, Newton's laws of motion, so somewhere the word is law, somewhere the word, word is principle, it doesn't matter much. But these are basically the theories. Theories of learning is there in psychology. Okay. Now, if there is no one, then I proceed further. Once you have selected a problem, now let us see how do we write the title. So please tell me, give me the name of one variable and then I will tell you how to write the title. So please give me the name of a variable. Name of any variable you like, no problem.
गौरव इफ यू कलेक्ट द डेटा फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी सोर्स इफ इट इज फॉर फिलोसॉफी यू आर डेटा विल बी क्वालिटेटिव इन नेचर इन हिस्टोरिकल आल्सो इट विल बी क्वालिटेटिव इन नेचर बट इन हिस्टोरिकल यू मे आल्सो गेट सम क्वांटिटेटिव आल्सो but in philosophical the primary source cannot give you quantitative data it has to be all qualitative data so let us take one variable you have given many let us take one variable the variable i am taking methods of teaching and let us see how do i write the title so i have taken methods of teaching and now i am writing the title should i write directly the title or should i tell you how to develop the title should i write directly or should i tell you how to develop okay so see a study of a study of methods of teaching a study of methods of teaching science a study of methods of teaching science by teachers by teachers of of public schools public schools of india public schools of of uttar pradesh public schools of kanpur now you see this now do you think the first one is all right or study of the answer is no why because it is too broad and whenever anything is broad it is vague so your title cannot be vague now if you compare the second with the first then in the second i have written methods of teaching and methods of teaching is the variable so in the second one this particular research will not be related to the self concept will not be related to achievement will not be related to anxiety will not be related to personality will not be related to anything except the methods of teaching so i have narrow it down if you compare the third with the fourth 
the second in the third i have written methods of teaching what say methods of teaching science so it is not methods of teaching language methods of teaching history methods of teaching management methods of teaching chemistry uh, methods of teaching english music no it's only science so now if you compare the fourth with the third here is a methods of teaching science by teachers so teachers belong to the population and teachers from where it is public school because teachers can be from colleges can be school can be university now here say public schools the teachers can be from government schools may be aided schools or public schools so here it is public school so you have narrowed down the population these public schools belong to which country in the sixth one it is said india and india is too vast then in seventh it is said up and in eighth it is said kanpur so according to you which title is appropriate according to you which title is appropriate yes so majority of you are saying that title number 8 is appropriate the answer is yes but the title number 7th is also appropriate why because today you are in kanpur and tomorrow you go to meerut but in the title if you have written kanpur then you have to come back to kanpur to collect your data but if you have written uttar pradesh then you may collect your data from meerut also so it depends upon you if you want to narrow it down like eight you can do it or if you want to keep it little bit open as in the seventh you can do it so it is either the seventh or the eight is the most appropriate one now can this be the title of the research methods of teaching science by teachers of public schools of kanpur can it be the title of the research or title of something else so you are right this cannot be the title of a research but this can be the title of a paper so if you want to make it a title of a research you have to use the word a study of now many people they say that you do not use the word a or a you use the word study of models study of methods of teaching science this is technically wrong grammatically wrong because it cannot be study it has to be a study so large number of the titles you will find in the shodh ganga are wrong these days i am analyzing the title and i am coming up with a paper of course i have written one paper long back but now i am writing another paper where i want to say that in how many universities the people are writing the correct title or the most appropriate title so dear friends you cannot write the study you have to write a study of okay now you cannot use the word full stop here because it is not a complete sentence 
So if a appropriate title will give you information about variable and the information about variable is methods of teaching science. And it will give you information about population that is teachers of public schools of country. It also tells you about method of research. Can you tell me which method of research? Which method of research will be here in, in number eight or number seven? Yes, it is not experimental, it is survey. So it is the survey method. Now you know what is the type of data or information Which type of information you will get here? Which type of information will you get? You will get through survey whether the people are using lecture method or discussion method or, or some other method. So it will be the qualitative in nature. So the methods, the information will be qualitative information. So qualitative data or qualitative information you will get. So I have written one title and where you will get the qualitative data and it will be the survey research. Now let me write another, another title. So I'm taking another variable. Any question you want to ask from this particular example? I'm taking another example. Any question you want to ask? Okay, let us take another example. Suppose I'm taking job satisfaction as a variable. And let me see how do I write the title. I'm saying a study of A study of job satisfaction a study of job satisfaction of of principles. A study of job satisfaction of principles of a public schools. A 
of public schools of India. Of public schools of Rajasthan. Of public schools of Jaipur. Now, out of these, which title is appropriate according to you? My dear friend, the fifth one is not all right. Why? Because India is too vast. Because it is too vast, therefore you cannot conduct a research at a PhD level. But yes, if NCRT wants to conduct such type of research, they if they like, they can have number five as a title. You know, NCRT is conducting many surveys. And you know, they do survey in languages, mathematics, and science. And they try to find out which state students are weak in mathematics, which state students are weak in languages, and so on and so forth. But for PhD, number three is not appropriate. No Bahadur, number six. For paper, number six, no, this is wrong. The number six is not a paper title. This title cannot be for a paper. If you want to write title for the paper, I will tell you. The paper for the title will be like this. That job satisfaction of principals of public schools of Jaipur. Now this because you know about the job satisfaction, once you have collected the data, you have analyzed the data, then only then you will be able to talk about the job satisfaction of principles. So this can be the title of a paper, but this can be the title of the research a study of job satisfaction of principals of public schools of Japan. Now, here you will have the qualitative data or quantitative data because there are job satisfaction scale and that will give you the quantitative data. So in this one, my variable is the job satisfaction. This is the variable which I have. Then my, my population is the principles and method of research is it the survey method and the type of data will be will be quantitative the quantitative data now my dear friend if you want, I can write another title, something like this. A study of job satisfaction and, 
and personal personal problems of principals of public schools of Jaipur. Now, in this particular title, can you tell me how many? Can you name the variables from this title? Name the variables. I'm putting it red. So let us see, can you find out the name of the variables from this title? Yes, all of you are correct. That in this title, variables are, one is the job satisfaction, And for job satisfaction, you will have quantitative data. And another variable is personal problem. And for this, you will have a qualitative data. And method of research will be the survey method. Some of the people, they say that it is not a, they call it a mixed method. My dear friend, that is wrong. How can you have a mixed method? Some people call it a mixed data. How can you mix the qualitative data and quantitative data? So that is wrong. So the concept which some of these people, they are putting in front of you, that is not correct. When a public school is not a variable, it is a part of population. When a, it's not the variable, it's a part of the population. So you should understand the variable and this. So here the population is Population is public, the principal. Principles of public schools of Jaipur. This complete is the population. So it is not a variable. So I hope you have understood. Any question, any participant like to ask? Then I'm taking another variable and will write the title for experimental research. But any question you want to ask, please go ahead. Rawat, in order to find out that no research has been conducted you, related to the area, you have to say that researches have been conducted related to this aspect, this aspect, and this aspect, but it not been conducted related to that. So you have to use your review of related literature.
Yes, Divya, you can, you have a scale. You have to develop a scale for the patient satisfaction. So it will be patient satisfaction scale. You develop and then you can use it. It is not a mixed research. No, it's not mixed method. Harsha, it's not a mixed method. How can it be? How can you mix the method? Can you mix like can you mix survey method and philosophical method? I told you the other day that you cannot mix philosophical historical. No, they are two different methods. So it is wrong. You cannot call it a mixed method. It is wrong. It is not ex in experimental method, in experimental, you have to have independent variable and dependent variable. In the first example, I did not write the dependent variable at all. I only wrote one variable that in methods of teaching science. So please understand. Patient perception is different and patient satisfaction is different. Divya, you cannot get answer of all questions today because this pertains to the tool. So please start understanding when to ask a question. You ask question related to what I'm teaching, not related to what I'm not teaching. I cannot spend time in in giving your answers, because your answer is not related to the topic which I'm taking right now. I do not know the foreign resource source, you can find it out. Dissertation abstract international is one source. Harsha, I have said it is not called mixed risk method. I told you it is called survey method. You cannot mix the methods. The statement of the problem and title are the same. When you write on the top of the thesis, you call it a title. And when you write in the body of the chapter number one, then you call it a statement of problem, but both are same. They do not differ. So let us take another variable and I will like to write the title for experimental research. And variable I'm taking achievement in Physics. So let us write the title. A study of a study of effect. A study of effect of a study of effect of online teaching a study of effect of online teaching on 
achievement in physics. A study of effect of online teaching on achievement of physics of class 11 students. Class 11 students of of government of government senior secondary schools senior secondary schools of india Then secondary schools of 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 Madhya Pradesh senior secondary schools of Bhopal. And if I say that class 11 students of government government girls senior secondary school of Bhopal. Now, if you have to say, then which one do you think will be all right? Please say the number 10 is not all right because that if it is only one school I have taken. It is government girls senior secondary school. It's only one, it's not schools, it is one. So therefore, or if you want to say school number one. Now the 10th one is not all right, why? because the finding of this particular research will be applicable only and only to the government girls senior secondary school. You cannot use it for generalization. So this will be all right only for action research. It is appropriate title for action research. Because action research is also experimental in nature. So therefore, the title available is either you can say eight or you can say nine. Now, if you take out this, now effect of online teaching on achievement in physics of class 11 students, can this be the title of the research or not?
Harsha, no, it cannot be the title of a research. It is the title of a paper. Because you come to know about the effect only after experiment has been conducted. And large number of the title available in the Shod Ganga, they are like this. And that is why the quality of research in India is very poor. So you cannot have, you have to have a study of. So therefore, your title number nine is appropriate. And in this particular title, you know the variable. And the variable is one is an independent variable. An independent variable here is online teaching. And the dependent variable is is achievement in physics. And you know, it is an experimental study because you have used the word effect. So the moment you use the word effect, this effect cannot be used in survey research. In survey research, you can use the word influence. So therefore, here method of research is, is experimental method. And your type of the data will be will be the quantitative data. So therefore, if you have a appropriate title, then you should be able to know, and your population here is, the population here is class 11th students. Class civil 11th student of government senior secondary school, Sabapa. So these are the information you will get if your title is appropriate. So I have written two titles for survey research, one title for experimental research. Will you like me to write the title for historical research? and philosophical research. Impact word Rawat you can use only and only when you are studying the government policy. There will be impact of GST. There will be impact of demonetization. There is an impact of midday meal. There is an impact of many government schemes. So impact word you will use whenever you are collecting the data from larger portion of the population. Because the demonetization, it was implemented all over India. Your GST is implemented all over India. Your midday meal is implemented all over India. And many other scheme of the government is implemented all over India. So you can use the word impact only and only in that case. And there it must be ex post facto research. X means you have to first give the treatment and then you can study. 
that is why it is x post facto x means treatment you give the experiment do the experiment and then so i hope you have understood it now gora that there are different words one word is influence another word is effect and another word is impact influence word is in survey research and it can be used effect word should be used only in experimental research and impact word is used for for studying the government policy or scheme policy or scheme and you use what call it a x post factor research it is called so these are the words and you must know when to use which word okay now do you want should i give you how to write a title for historical research or no let me write a title for historical research the title say i'll say a study of a study of a study of school curriculum a study of school curriculum during during british period during british period in india so now you know that in this one the fourth one is the most appropriate and here in the historical research then you know the variable and the variable is the school curriculum and you know the period and the period is british period
and method of research is a historical method. Okay, and your data which you will have type of data will be the qualitative data. Or you may also have some little quantitative. Now, if you want to write the philosophical, title for philosophical research. If I say like this, a study of a study of values. A study of values. as per Vivekanand. So, so here the variable is the values and the philosopher is is Vivekanand. And method is a philosophical man. Why? Because you only have to take the information from the primary source. You only have to read the books written by Vivekanand. You cannot read any other book. So therefore, this is the appropriate title for the philosophical research. It is not secondary data. When it is wrong, secondary is a source, primary is a source. When I, why, why can't you understand? You read wrong books written by people who do not understand. So this is how you can Now, in the historical research, what narrowness you want to do? In historical, this is the which narrow. You cannot have narrower than this. Because the British period was all over India. So how will you narrow it down? You cannot narrow it down further. Yes, if you say the Congress period, that our study of school curriculum during <clears throat> Congress period from 1948 to 1990. Yes, that you can do if you want. But here there is no need of doing anything. So this is how you can write the title for the historical research for the philosophical research. So I've given you title for survey research, experimental research, historical research, and philosophical research. Now, if you want to do a case study research, 
you cannot use any other word except in experimental research you have to use the word effect if you want to use another word it is effectiveness and if you want to write the title for using the word effectiveness i can tell you data do you want if you want to use the word effectiveness then it can be like this experimental research effectiveness effectiveness of online teaching on the on the basis of achievement achievement in physics of class 11th students 11th students of a public school of yepur now please understand here i have used the word effectiveness and you cannot use the word own you cannot write like this effectiveness of online teaching on achievement this is wrong you have to write on the basis or you have to write in terms so if you want to use the word effectiveness then you have to use the word on the basis or in terms of so this is how you can write the experimental title by using the word effectiveness and if you want to do the case study if you want to do a case study then it can be like this a study of a study of personality a study of personality of of topper a study of personality of topper of 2023 or 2022 exam exam of cbs so a study of personality of topper of 2022 exam of cbs so this you cannot take any other person except you have to take the topper so this will be the case study so this is how you can write the title for survey for experimental for historical for case study so i have completed the title writing tomorrow i will take a title and will start writing the objective and will tell you how to write objectives i am sure no teacher might have taught you
No, if efficiency you cannot use. Krishna, why don't you write a title and try to use efficacy? No. Okay. So, Vinay, what is the question? I do not know. Petro, what are you saying? What can we write in ex post facto research? You can write Bahadur, you can write and you can show it to me. If you want to have any research for ex post facto, then you can write like this. I'm writing a study of a study of a study of effect of midday meal on on attendance of class three students in in government in government primary schools of of Rajasthan. Because in the ex post facto, your population has to be widespread. So that is, this is how you can write. No, if it is effectiveness, you need not to write the word or study of. Then it becomes a redundant word. So this is how you can write the title for the ex post facto research. No, you cannot write the word impact. If, if you want to write the word impact, you can write. I think you can write a study of, you can write a study of impact. You can write perfectly correct. A study of impact of midday meal on attendance of class three students in government primary schools of Rajasthan. That is correct. Instead of effect, you can write the word impact. That's correct. All right. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Stay safe. Keep learning.